all right people mike salden here again welcome back to another video today i'm just looking at my platinum trophy journey for shenmue 3 uh, a game i really thought i was never gonna play because the reviews when it first came out and the reaction from the fans was extremely mixed and divisive to say the least um but i finally gave it a chance because it was so cheap these days it was like five quid used in my local game store and i was like okay i'm finally gonna pick this up because i completed shenmue 2 a few months ago and i actually quite enjoyed shenmue 2 a lot more than the first game and i had become somewhat invested in rio and uh, shinwa at right at the end uh i thought the sort of relationship that was building there seemed kind of interesting and because i was more into rio uh getting to know shinwa and her life in this small village and that sort of angle uh, i wasn't that mad when this game didn't really advance the plot that much and because i was fully aware of all the complaints about how this game doesn't really go anywhere i was i was sort of prepared for that so i wasn't as mad when i finished this game as other hardcore fans were that they hadn't really got the closure they'd been waiting 20 years for so I can really understand why you would be really, really upset that this game is the way that it is. Um, and honestly, on some levels, it feels like uh, Yu Suzuki was trolling his fan base by waiting 20 years to make a game where you have to play this gambling game like this and earn 500k tags for one of the trophies uh, then you have to catch 1k fish later like a literal 1000 fish you have to catch for a trophy you have to collect 400 uh, herbs that are in the game and all this kind of time wasting madness that uh, it was annoying a lot of it but I also was kind of really zoned out and relaxed and in a sort of zen state <laughs> while doing some of this stuff um, now, I know other people were gonna, are going to be really furious at this sort of stuff you had to do here, like collecting the herbs. This was the final plant I needed in the uh, village area. Um, uh, that one was really scary because I'd heard people collected like nearly all the herbs and then they got the last one and the trophy wouldn't pop. So I was really worried about that one, but uh, thankfully I got it. Uh, easily enough um, but sadly you have to go into the second city of the game and collect another 190 flowers so you basically have to do the same tedious task twice in two different areas which that at that point I was kind of like what is this Yu Suzuki guy thinking right now is he out of his mind but then I just started to laugh at it and think it was kind of funny that people had to wait 20 years to pick 400 flowers and catch a thousand fish. And it is, it is just kind of funny. I know the fan base don't want to be laughed at, but it, it is just the tiniest bit funny, guys, that this Yu Suzuki made people wait that long. And then all he did with the plot really was have Shinwa get kidnapped near the end. And then you fight Landy and lose, and you don't really even use the body check move that you spent the whole game trying to learn. Uh, and he just escapes again, <laughs> and all you really did throughout the game was gamble, uh, collect capsule toys, uh, buy or uh, fish for a thousand fish, and collect all these herbs. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty funny to me sort of what happened with this game but again i kind of enjoyed the atmosphere of just hanging out in score. china and just no. being in this town having these weird conversations with all these random npcs and just sort of getting into a daily routine in this uh sort of environment that i wasn't very familiar with it was it was pretty fun uh, in my opinion but again i'm not the, the complete target audience for this game where i've been waiting 20 years and i'm not that hyped on finding even finding landy 
So I wasn't that mad again, as I was as I've said, when some of these tasks were turned out to be so tedious. Uh, shopkeeper, that was another annoying one. You had to buy like a hundred. Actually, maybe it was a thousand items. Uh, I don't want to underestimate the game because uh, there was a lot of tasks like that that were just really annoying. Battlemaster, this was one of the better trophies where you had to uh, fight like all the opponents in the uh, arena or the street fights or whatever. I've got to play some Lucky Hit. It is Shenmue. Uh, that one I needed uh, to get this specific. Uh, this specific item so I could sell it at the pawn shop to get a scroll I believe uh, and then I came over here to do this other one uh, yeah I think I think this was for another item that I needed for the uh, pawn shop does this go in yes it does that was quite insane luck there so yeah, I got those two items. Uh, they were needed for some scrolls later on. Uh, I think I just kept this footage because I was like, so pleased that I'd managed to get the uh, lucky hit thing on the first try. Because uh, some people, when I was reading up comments about it, uh, they really struggled to do that. Um, I think this was another story trophy, really, where it's, you meet this grandmaster guy for the first time. And he sort of teaches you the body check later or whatever. Uh, this was an another story trophy, good karma. I think it was just for getting my uh, fortune read from this person during the story or something like that. Uh, let's see, uh, this next trophy, another fisherman. Uh, I think this was for fishing in every spot. There's like uh, there seven or eight spots in the original uh, village, and then there's another uh, twelve spots or so in the second town. Uh, Adept angler again. I'm not sure what this would have been. It's something else to do with the fishing. I got them both at the same time there. Whatever those two trophies were. Uh, okay. Yes, I remember this pinball thing now. I'm showing this footage because this was like one of the most difficult things in the game. I just could not get these goddamn balls to go into these uh, these correct slots on this pinball machine. Uh, you, it really felt really pretty random with where the ball was going to go and you just had to keep playing it over and over again. Um, and every time you missed you got more and more outraged. And started losing your temper, and it didn't seem like there was any sort of legit way to win. Uh, but I just kept at this, I think. And eventually the balls just seemed to go where I wanted them to. I don't think this was a successful run. Um, yeah, because I've missed three balls already. Uh, see, that ball, that should have been in there, in my opinion. Like, why did that just come out like that? Uh, so then I had the top three. I need to get these two balls to go into the bottom two or else it's a failure And I, yeah, I think that one like it's going nowhere near any of the uh, Slots so yeah, you just wasted your time on this run uh, Once you saw that happening and that's last ball also didn't go anywhere near it. So I'm just leaving this in as an example of how frustrating this pinball minigame was uh, but you had to do it because uh, one of the items you need was uh, locked behind this. Uh, that you need to trade to the uh, store uh, for the uh, for one of the move scrolls. Uh, the pawn shop. You needed to swap uh, the item you get from doing this to him. Maybe you could buy it somewhere else, but from what I was reading, this was where you had to go to get it. Um... I think this might be the run where I actually do manage to do it. But if not, uh, we're going to be just watching to see how frustrated I was getting here. Yeah, see another ball that just went nowhere near where I needed to, to go, really. Um, no, I think this was another failure. <laughs> 
But it's just, I'm just trying to show like how like random this seemed to be. And like I just got mad here and started putting out balls all over the place. And actually this could be the one where I actually did it from just random nonsense. Oh my god, that was the one where I did it. I just got mad at the end and was like, okay, I'm going to send all these balls up there at once. Who cares? <laughs> and I actually did it. So yeah, that was probably, even though it was frustrating, that was probably one of my more favourite moments. Because of just how funny it was that I'd been there so long trying to do that. Uh, angler extraordinaire. I think this was for getting the thousand fish. That was really annoying to be honest. You just had a fish every day for about I, I know 20 days in game. And just catch a thousand fish. It was really annoying. Capsule fan. You had to get every capsule toy from all the different sets. Again, that was kind of annoying because you get so many repeats of the same capsule toy. At this point, I was like, is Yu Suzuki actually like mocking people who want to play this game and get the 100%? Because it did start to feel that way. Uh, and then you had to collect another 190 herbs. Again, really annoying if you missed one. You were running around all over trying to figure out where the last one could possibly be. And it was always scary that could this trophy be glitched if this doesn't pop after I get the final one. I wasted so much time. But thankfully I got uh, all the flowers. Uh, this was another pretty tricky one. It was buying all the scrolls. You, just, you have to gamble for so long to get so much money. To be able to buy them all and to be able to trade in all the like uh, items from the capsule sets and whatever just because you need a lot of money uh this is another story trophy this is when you went to the end of the game basically to rescue shinwa i must say it was pretty funny she got kidnapped in my game and then it was about 10 or 15 hours later after i finished doing all these like platinum trophy stuff that i actually went to get her so canonically in my game, Rio spent about 20 hours fishing uh, down at the docks while Shinwa was kidnapped. But yeah, I eventually got the Platinum Trophy. And I must say, again, I didn't hate my time with this game. I found it quite relaxing, a lot of it. And it was really uh, not as bad as people said it was. But also, I can understand fully all the frustration people have had waiting for this game.